Oh boy. Woo, more trains. Got past there just in time. Hey guys, bike blogger here. On my way home. A little chilly out. Whew. Been drinking enough water, I think, but uh, it's been a long day. Got a little bit of a headache. Ugh. Hopefully this uh, exercise will get my brain functioning again. Looks like a train's coming. That's always fun. Yeah, here we go. Train coming. Woo. Let's do this. Tonight I wanted to talk about rear light, blinking or steady. Blinking or steady. Woo, there's Jane. See if I can get around this guy. Maybe. Maybe. Woo! Dang! I don't think I can really see it, but there it goes. Um, blinking or steady light? Rear light? Or I guess you could talk about front light too. Just about the rear light though. Um, there are some countries where it's illegal to have a flashing light, uh, a flashing rear light at least, um, because you know it's some people consider it annoying. Those countries include, uh, I think, like Germany. Maybe the Netherlands. Anyway, I don't live in those countries, so I can't really speak on behalf of them. But for the most part, in the US, United States, uh, it's not illegal at all that I know of anywhere to have flashing lights. Let's go take a look at the train. Loud screechy thing. Um, so in a country where it's legal to have both blinking or steady uh, lights, what do I recommend? Train's gone now. Well, I recommend flashing for the rear steady for the front. Here's why. Uh, we're just talking about the, well for the front, flashing it just annoys me even if uh, you know it wasn't pointed direct, directed at me and I was the one flashing the light in the front. It would just uh, distract me too much and it would just annoy me. Let's go left I guess. Go out this way tonight. Oh boy. Woo, more trains. Got past there just in time. Let's go up here. All right. Here we go. Jump. It's a good bunny hop. A little teeny tiny bunny hop. Woo. Um, okay. Start talking here a little bit about the lights. If you're going to do flashing, you don't want it to flash too fast or too slow. Now, flashing lights are going to make you stand out more in a sea of red brake lights. So it's good for that purpose. It'll sort of distract people. It'll there could be an argument that, hey, a, a flashing light, like a flashing cop uh, police light, will just attract drunk drivers. They'll go toward the flashing light for whatever reason. I don't know. I've never 
never drank and drive and I don't recommend anybody do that to find out if it's true or not um, so some advocate a very bright steady light I like that idea I sort of have thought about it myself I've gone back and forth on it you know, like maybe I just have a steady light that way with a steady light you can judge judge you can judge the distance uh, notice I don't have a I'm not using that super view mode if people end up liking it I might do it in a future video again sometime but uh anyway for, for a steady light it's easier to judge the distance you are from the light that makes sense versus a flashing light and that gets back to you don't want to flash you know really slowly because you're just you know you're a ghost there for that second between the flashes basically and you don't want to flash really fast because then it might as well just go steady right I don't know maybe go steady <laughs> oh gosh I crack myself up sometimes let's go left okay if we can get up here we can beat some traffic the traffic's gonna go left which means I can go right Ugh. I want to get in the left lane soon 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 no one really behind me so just take my time wait for these three cars get in the left lane so I said I want to go the other way I don't want to go all the way up the hill here spin it around go right here Ugh. so what is the what is the best answer the answer is all the above That thing's letting out a lot of smoke or exhaust or some sort of reaction going on in there. Uh, byproducts. Um, and what do I mean by all the above? You should have a flashing light. You should have a steady light. You should have multiple reflectors. Anything that can uh, make yourself more visible to the motorist of course have some side lights some side visibility at least some reflectors but it's always good to have a backup if, you're, if you have a long commute unlike me I mean uh, I have a short commute so I don't really have to worry about batteries, but carry multiple batteries with you for your lights or have multiple lights. Keep one with you in case you need it. But yeah, do uh, uh do probably two lights and two reflectors on the rear. I know I was sort of talking about front light but I really intended this video to be about rear light Whew. sort of in response to my cycle light hot shot video rear light oh. it is cold but I'm sweating so it's getting even colder. So it goes back to the... <laughs> I don't know if I really did a video on that, like... When it's, uh, you know, really hot, is it better to ride faster, keep yourself cool, or ride slower and try to prevent yourself from perspirating that is sweating Ugh. 
And I think the answer was basically ride and just don't stop. <laughs> just don't stop. Because when you stop, you really start sweating. Gotta keep that breeze going. Cool down is also important. Anyway, back to lights. Let's go straight tonight. Mix it up just a tiny bit. Smell something. I can't imagine anyone barbecuing in this weather though. Okay, let's make a left. So yeah, flashing or steady light, rear light or front light. What do you think? Post in the comment section below, let us know your opinions. If you have a, uh, a favorite front light or rear light, go ahead and share it with us. We'd all like to know. Thanks for coming along. Like and subscribe. See you next time.